Uh, so much cooler, perfect for runners. I mean, I think we all like the 40s, but uh, just a great event today. And I, I want to thank everyone, the viewers and everyone that was out there spectating made it really the event. With and the they get inspiring you to keep going, especially they that did. last mile, that last yeah, mile. Yeah, yeah, I all a blur. <laughs> <laughs> it was great, but uh, a lot of fun. And they, they always put on one of the best marathons around. So uh, big thanks to all those people there. Weather wise, we snuck it in, Lena. Yes. I mean, literally, we had an eight hour window of drier weather. We had some lake effect rain we were talking about last night that pushed north. We had the clearing skies to start the race and then things filled in. Boy, I feel bad for anyone that's out of town, which a lot of people come from out of town for this that stuck around said, hey, why don't we spend Sunday night and Monday in Cleveland? Because this weather is not the best, right? This isn't really our best uh, foot forward here. Temperatures in the 50s. It's raw outside. Notice lake water temperature sitting at 64. Doing a little research, that's still five degrees above average. That's a big deal going into perhaps a cold November. Mm, lake effect. We'll see how that uh, adds to the instability. Wind always goes towards low, low pressure. So wind flowing from the east to the west, that tells us there's a low pressure off towards our west. That's also bringing the rain in here. We've had quite a bit of it this afternoon, anywhere from a quarter inch to three quarters of an inch of rain. It's starting to pile up down to the south, though. That's where we've got the bulk of the rain right now from New Philadelphia down towards areas of 70, 70 to get down towards Marietta. Carrollton getting some heavier rain as well. Minerva seeing some rain. It kind of dries out a little bit, kind of patchy as you get down towards the Akron area. Medina, and then it picks up again as you get up towards the lake shore. We're not done, though. We've got a very rainy evening ahead. Even some thunder as you get back into this portion. This is all lifting north along a warm front, so I wouldn't be surprised if we had some rumbles tonight in addition to more heavy rain overnight. The severe weather event's going to be down towards our south and the west. That will stay away from us. That's the good news, as that's where the warmth and humidity is. We fall into this heavy rain category overnight tonight. You can see the tornado watches that are out a couple live tornado warnings right now. Areas of Missouri flooding expected off towards our west. That's where the heaviest rain is. Still, we're going to get a good uh, dosing of rain tonight. Hour by hour forecasts brought to you by National Design Mart. You can see the rain moving through tonight. I think we get a break tomorrow as that warm front lifts north. We wait on the cold front. This is very similar to what we had last week. System comes in some rain and rumbles tomorrow afternoon. We'll have to keep an eye on some of these. Don't want anything to sneak up on us. Could see some gusty your thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. That would be around the evening rush hour. That pushes out. Look at Tuesday. Another raw day. The system's going to kind of spiral around. Temperatures may not get out of the upper 40s. I've got us in the low 50s, but kind of a raw day on Thursday on the back side of this. In terms of rainfall, one to two inches of rain. I think we can expect that most of that through tomorrow evening. Look out west. This is almost a record center in terms of how strong this low pressure is. A powerful storm system. This is next on the docket for our weather pattern. You can see as we go through time, it will eventually eject itself out in the plain states. That will bring us some late week rain. You can see in your Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast 63 with scattered storms tomorrow leftover rain Tuesday we dry out Wednesday then Lena we're talking Thursday Friday more rain and my pumpkin has sunk it was on top of Sunday but now it has sunk into the numbers <laughs> but uh, trick-or-treat at this point looking okay, okay as long as it's Sunday night and not Saturday night okay very good thanks so much Matt